right, everybody, we got interrupted a little bit on our journey to test the ZX-10R versus the FZ-1000. Uh, the battery on the ZX-10R decided to kick the bucket. So, so currently we're doing a makeshift uh, fix, stop, whatever you want to call it, at a, uh, at a Walgreens. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. It's the perfect example of, you know, need it, not, have it, not need it, not need it, not have it. So I always carry one of these when we go riding. Um, it's, yeah, it'll start a car, but I just wanted one that was nice and tiny. You just stick the uh, terminals on the positive and negative. I can. It's kind of beer. Hey, it's touching. It's all yep. And this one says ready. You uh, you got the key? You do. No, I don't because you parked it. No, it's in, the, it's in here. Power bad. All right, it'll say ready. You turn it on. And it turns right the fuck on. Don't plug it. Make sure the, these buggers don't touch. And uh, if you're stuck in the middle of the road, turns into having a running bike. A little Oswin Media tool tip for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. If I edit this correctly, you'll have just seen that me and my brother were stuck on the side of the road with this bad boy. And I thought I had a dead battery. And my grandpa, who only has a high school degree, is the smartest person I know. I ch charged this battery, trickle charged it, and went and checked it 2.6 volts after I had, you know, turned it on, turned it off, let it sit, you know, and it was still 2. Point, I think it was 2.59. Um, and he's, I was like, oh, we're good to go. And right before I got on it to go go somewhere, he said, is it recharging? I said, well, yeah, it's recharging. I said, well, you know what? Look, turn it on. Turns over just fine. I put my multimeter on it, 12.2 volts. So it wasn't recharging. Or if it was recharging, it wasn't enough. So I imagine, and I'm hoping, it's a stator. And so we're going to be replacing the stator today. And that means we're changing the oil too. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I've never done a stator. Um, so I'm hoping it's an okay, easy kind of job. Let's talk about the stator I got. So, can you see me? I'll scoot up a little bit. So I went and looked for Kawasaki Genuine Parts. Genuine Cowie Stator. Found one. And it was $365, $63.99. I said, well, I'm not doing that. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll jump off the bridge for it, pay $300 for a piece of metal with some wires wrapped around it. So, uh, eventually, doing some research brought me to Rick's Motorsport Electric. So, Rick's Staters, as they're commonly known. Um, my brother had a uh, had a Rick Stater on his CR125. I don't know anything what happened with it. I just know he had one on there. So we're trying Rick's, even though it's made in Taiwan. Taiwan's there in China. Uh, so I got I picked out Rick Staters. I've never done this before. I don't know what I should or should not be touching, but here it is. Um, it's got a really nice the cables are nylon braided. You know, looks good. So we're going to try it out. I'm keeping the old one. I will probably try to rewind it on my own or see how you do that. Because, you know, no reason to throw it away. But first, we got to change, we got to dump the oil. So that's what we're doing. Then we got to take the fairings off. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. I was like, damn, look at what you doing out here with all this ass. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass, the sun is still out. I like my bikes like me, got big nuts. That sun bitch sure does sound good. <laughs> a little tip not to dip your hand in uh, uh, hot oil is I just use this Milwaukee, uh, 
electric ratchet and I just let all the oil pour onto the ratchet head. You know, keeps it lubricated. <laughs> Something that's often overlooked. Something that is often overlooked while working on stuff, staying hydrated. And no, I don't mean a Coca-Cola or a Monster Energy drink. I'm talking good old dihydrogen monoxide. some of these tabs. Okay, so we're finally taking the stator cover off. We finally got to that point. We had to take the radiator surge tank off and take these, this bottom fairing off and the one that covers the surge tank. And now it's an uh, eight millimeter bolt to bolts that are on the stator cover. Put nice and back all right, here we go. We're about to take this off for the first time. We're going to find out what the Delio is. Taking off this uh, little bracket that holds your fairing in here. Assume these are breathing noises. That's not almost. Yeah, that's an hour. Time's valuable. At least I think so. 
probably need to find where the stator wire goes to the plug. I might be lifting my gas tank here in a minute. I really want to see if my stator looks burnt or not. That was the main goal here. Yeah, she's burnt. She's burnt up. That's good news. That is good news, fellas. Now I need to get a zip tie and dangle this up while I look for the harness. I don't know what, I guess this thing's been leaking oil. Not bad enough that I, it's, I mean, it doesn't leave a spot in the, in the garage, so it's not that bad to leak, but it's a little bit leaky. Okay, so I wanted to give you all a better look. Um, that's good news to me because that means that my stator is my issue. Um, but it also means that, you know, I have to change the stator. So that's what, so that's, you know, that's what makes the stator not work is it's burn up. Um, so, yeah. If you, if you take your bike apart and that's what, the way your stator looks, you probably need a new stator. So, there you go. Okay, so now we're at the part where I got to take the stator out of the, the thing in the bobber. And that don't seem too funny. So I'm going to hope that my little 12 volt impact will make that a little bit easier because it's got all these things. And then we got to take the, then we got to find where the wiring harness goes. And I just touched the rotor. It didn't seem like something you ought to be doing, touching the rotor. So wiped that off. So yeah. Um, by the way, didn't watch a video on how to do all this. So I don't think there was one specifically for a ZX-10R. So kind of just winging it. As usual, I forgot this, the Allen sockets. And I have a fork gasket as a replacement. So, you know, metal's always better. But sometimes you gotta, you get what you get. You, you just deal with it. Thank you.